I went to dental school in San Antonio and I was thinking towards the end of my time there that I wanted to do actually medicine for the Indian health services. I was talking about that with one of my professors. He was like, hey, you might really want to consider practice ownership. But the thought of him telling me that and him being a, a successful business owner and telling me that I should do it kind of led me to believe, well, if you think I'm capable of this, maybe that's something I should do. I don't remember if I came across Jamie's book first or his podcast or his blog, but somehow I came across his book and I emailed him for the book and then his company contacted me and we had a conversation and he was an amazing person. I could just tell on the phone that he was genuine, that he cared about people, that he was a down-to-earth guy, He's so happy and optimistic. I felt comfortable with him and uh, signed up with the company. What we were noticing is that the banks were willing to loan a certain amount of money to a new dentist, a relatively new dentist, but there was only so far that they would go. And once I started working with Steven and Jamie, it was night and day, you know, banks that were saying, well, you've got some experience, but we need you to have, you know, a little bit more. Things just changed and automatically, we're like the banks are talking to us, they're coming out to see us, <laughs> they're giving us money so we can build this awesome practice. And now two years later, we're in this beautiful historic building and it's everything I ever could have wanted just because of my design background. This was an awesome project. And then my dental background and having my own place. Jamie and Steven and the team, they say 100 patients from day one. That's kind of what they shoot for. We sent our marketing out on a Monday, I think is the day that it arrived. So Monday, the phone started ringing. Tuesday, it kept ringing. And I was sitting here thinking, I'm supposed to go back to my associateship like next Monday. And I, I told myself I need to go, or I was talking to my husband, I was like, I need to go, I need to go talk to my boss, I need to quit my job, but I don't have time to go quit my job because the phone won't stop ringing. So I sent him an email, I said, I'm so sorry to do this, but I, like, I have to give my notice. Now we have over 200 people that are scheduled as new patients, and I wanna say we've seen probably 60 something already in the first month and that's being open two days a week. I'm working for myself now and setting my own schedule and doing what I wanna do and I, yeah, I couldn't be happier. There have been so many times where I thought I could not have done this on my own. I had the idea but I just didn't have the power or the influence to make it reality and Ideal Practices has definitely been able to take my dream and my vision and turn it into this real thing, this amazing practice. <laughs>